guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing our marriage Q&A today on our two year, <laughs> on our two month marriage anniversary. I asked you guys on Instagram and Twitter to send me all of your questions that you have for Riley and I. And then for the past two months, I have been trying my butt off to get him to film this video and it has just not worked. So I wanted to get this video out for you guys and answer all of your questions since it's been such a long time. So I hope you enjoy and if you ask me a question, make sure to watch and check to see if you got your question answered. So we are coming up on our four month marriage anniversary and I am really excited to answer all of these questions you guys had. They were really good. So the first question is from Texas Wifey and it says, how is married life being young? Do people still look down at you or judge you? Love you guys. We love you too. And I would say no. In Idaho and in Utah, which is like our bordering state, a lot of people get married at anywhere from 18 to 21 and people are considering that young, which I understand, I agree. Um, but I don't think people look down on it anymore. I think when we were talking about it and planning it all the time, I think it was a bigger deal than it actually was. But now that we're married, everyone is super supportive and really happy for us. And I think it's just kind of blown over and they realize that we're gonna do what we need to do and start our lives together. So no one really judges us. And if they do, they don't say it to me. So whatever. The next question is by Adriana GM12 and it says, what was the hardest part of planning your wedding? What advice would you give to someone planning a wedding around your age? Beautiful dress, by the way. Thank you, Adriana. Um, the hardest part about planning the wedding, I think, was choosing the venue. If you guys followed along with my vlogs at all, we had three different, like, perfect wedding ideas that were in three completely different venues. We had a barn, we had Hawaii, and we had the church slash temple that we ended up getting married in completely different we had a barn in Boise a temple in Idaho Falls and obviously Hawaii which is in Hawaii and I think just deciding on what fit best for us and what fit best for our budget was the hardest part because you have all these Pinterest ideas that you want to get out and you want to have that wedding but in reality is it possible for you your budget and what you and your brand new husband are going to want so I think letting go of Pinterest and choosing the venue that was gonna work for us was probably the hardest part for me any advice I would give is let go of Pinterest it's great for inspiration but unless you have an unlimited budget it's probably not gonna look like the pictures that you see so unless you're DIYing a lot and you are really creative or if you have an unlimited budget I think it's time to let go of Pinterest and make your own vision and your own dreams and be happy with the way it turns out because you've put so much time and effort into it and the day is going to be perfect regardless so just enjoy <laughs> the next one is from underscore underscore Asia Parker and it said did how did you know your husband was the one and do you guys disagree often when we were dating, we didn't really disagree that often. When we were engaged, we really didn't disagree that often. We had opposing views on some things, but we always thought it was fun to kind of bicker about it and get our thoughts out there because we both like to argue. I guess we're both very lawyer type people and so like we like to debate and talk things through and have differing views. We think that's really interesting. But being married has been the hardest three and a half months I have ever lived through. Oh my gosh, I have never wanted to kill somebody more, but I've never loved something so hard and so with, with so much passion. It's weird how much we disagree now that we're married because a lot of decisions are, oh, are you and your wife doing this? Do you and your wife want to come? Do you and your husband want to do this? Are you guys doing that? What do you guys think? And we then have to decide as a couple instead of saying, if Riley's family was asking us to do something, Riley would usually make the decision and ask me if I wanted to come along. If my family was doing something, I would usually go and ask him if he wanted to come along. Now it's both of us. And if one of us doesn't want to go, it becomes this whole ordeal that we don't want to leave the other one alone, but they want to go and all the stuff. So we've definitely started arguing more, but I think it's just getting used to each other in a permanent sense instead of seeing each other on the weekends or every so often and kind of not having to make every single day decisions. I think it's just getting used to each other's personality every single day. And how did I know he was the one? It was just a feeling and I hate having to say that, but when we very first started talking our junior year, I kept telling myself and my friends, I'm going to marry this boy. It was a legit feeling that I had. I was like, this is the boy that I'm going to marry and we're going to have to work it out, but I'm going to marry him. And it was just 
perfect like we clicked in every single way and he was just hands down the one for me okay the next one is from Katrina J. Mills and it says hey Allie love your channel my question is what's the biggest difference between dating life and married life and I've answered this on my Instagram so many times but absolutely nothing like it doesn't feel like anything has changed but when I look at our day-to-day -day routine everything is completely different the way we talk to each other the way we interact with each other the way we drive to work the way we go here the way we go there it's so different even though I could not put my finger on what has changed everything just seems a little bit different because we're now married and I think people just switch their attitude towards a married couple versus a dating couple and I think just the light and the energy around us has changed and definitely our personalities have grown closer and we've connected more so I think it's just everything has changed xo dot brooklyn xo asked around how much was it to have your wedding and we kind of had our budget split up between families my mom would pay this riley's family would pay that and it kind of just differed so i would have to estimate and say it was probably around four to five thousand dollars because we really just had all we had to pay for was our reception since we got married in our church's temple and so we didn't have to pay for that we just had to pay for like our marriage license and then our reception and we got a great deal on our reception hall and so then everything else was just the decorations and my dress so i would say probably forty five hundred to five thousand dollars then my best friend jocelyn asked are you guys ever planning on moving east maybe to florida for example and actually, we have thought a lot about moving down south, and I think that's something we're definitely going to pursue. I would love to live in Georgia or in Texas, and Riley thinks those are great places for him to go to law school and slash or go and find a job in his realm, which is finance and law. So I think we'll be moving down south, just probably not to Florida. Then Mahalan Cito, I am so sorry said I love you by the way here's my question when did y'all know you were the one for each other and like I said before it was just at the very beginning at least for me and I know Riley was shortly after it just was it just clicked it just was the right feeling and like people always say in the movies you know when you know and you definitely do know when you know amazing underscore dance three asked do you guys like being married I absolutely love it again I really wish Riley would be here and answer these questions with me but we both love it and I know I always like speak for myself when I say there's nothing compared to being married to your best friend and I love it. Then Olivia P19 asked, what's your guys' favorite thing to do together? Like favorite weekend activity or midweek activities? <laughs> if you guys follow along with our vlog channel or if you're watching our vlogmas, obviously you know the answer is basketball. We love watching basketball, playing basketball, joking about basketball, talking about basketball, thinking about basketball, everything around our life is basketball. Riley plays in a couple different leagues and our favorite team is the Warriors and we also like the Spurs and the Trailblazers and the Rockets and so it's just really fun and it's something we like to do together. He played in high school and that's kind of how our relationship really like grew together was through the sport and just his love for it and teaching me to love it. I'm more of a baseball kind of girl but that's just because I grew up with it. But I absolutely love basketball, and I love watching Riley play basketball. He's super, super good, so if you ever want to see him play basketball, just go to my vlog channel, because I swear any video you'll click on in the past, like, two months will have him playing basketball in it. Then Crespo underscore Kayla said, when do you plan on starting a family? By the way, love you guys. I want to start a family within the next year. I think Riley wants it in the next two years. I know he wants to be done with school, but once he's done with school, we'll be moving down to either Utah, Texas, or Georgia, like I said. And so I would like to start it while we're still here around his family and only three hours away from mine instead of being anywhere from five to 20 hours away from both of our families. So I think within the next year, but that's just my hope. I do not have a definitive answer for you. Then Natalie underscore maxa said you look beautiful what was your favorite part about your wedding and were you nervous my favorite part about my wedding was getting to dance with everybody it was like the glorified birthday party that i've always wanted but i was marrying my best friend i was with my entire family everyone was getting along there was great food great fun great music it was just so much fun dancing on the dance floor with everyone was so fun even though it was like 80 degrees in our venue because the air conditioner broke 
it was a blast. Like I would go back to that night a million times over again just to dance and eat that food. Madison Renee said, when do you plan on having kids? Like I said, hopefully a year. So that looks like that's all the questions that I got from you guys. If you have any more, please leave them down below because I'm sure we'll do another one of these sometime, or at least I will, or I'm happy to answer them down below for you as well. If you have any other video requests, please leave them down below because I want to film what you guys want to watch. I'm super busy with Vlogmas right now, so coming up with creative ideas for videos is a little bit hard for me, especially due to all of my crazy stuff at work. But if you have any video requests, leave them below so I can work on those and film them for you. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!